In this tutorial, I'll show you how to blur multiple faces in a video using the AI Face Mosaic feature in Filmora 14. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, there are two ways you can add the Face Mosaic feature to blur multiple faces in a video in Filmora. The first one is right at the home page here. I can just click on AI Face Mosaic and then click on the video I want to blur the faces and then click on open. Once I click on open, I'll set the project settings and my video is actually going to be populated right here. I'll close this for now. And once I do that, it's going to begin the processing of this particular video. You can see it right here. And also you'll see this particular uh, activity uh, bar going on. And then you can see the name of the video and then you can see the AI face mosaic going on. You'll see the progress here and here and also in the effects right here. Now, something else that you'll notice is that what has been opened is the effects, the face mosaic. And from here, what is being applied is the AI classic mosaic. And you can also see it right here. There are a bunch of options that you can actually choose from here. AI ink blur, AI horizontal blur, AI sketch blur, and so on and so forth. You can just uh, scroll down here and see what really works best for you. So. As it stands, we are waiting for the AI classic mosaic to be done. And then we'll see if our people or the persons or the faces in the video have been blurred. This is really awesome because it detects the faces. That is the total number of the faces. And some of the use case scenarios for the blurring of the faces in Filmora 14 is maybe if they're children that appear in the video and you don't want them to be seen or there are people who appeared in the videos and did not want to be included in the videos. Instead of having to delete that footage, then you can blur their faces and maybe that can suffice uh, when you're creating your videos. So it's done processing. And from here, you can already see the result. The faces have been blurred. If I actually maximize it, you can see that has happened. Now, what I want you to take a note of is this, this drop down here. It has detected faces. How many? Six of them. If we count uh, the people here, there are six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's done a pretty good job. The check marks are actually set. If I uncheck it, you'll see that the face has been unchecked. This one has been checked. So let's assume these people do not want to be seen in the video. Then you still have your video with the people that you want their faces to appear. But let's bring that back again. And again, so it's like that. Next up, we have the options for the strength. You can adjust the strength to whatever you want it to be or reset it. We can also add a feather, add a feather to where you want it to be. And it's more or less to smoothen that particular uh, mosaic that has been added. Let's just reset it back to what it was or even change the opacity. But if you bring the opacity slider down to the end, then the mosaic or uh, whatever blurring was done goes away. So you can just adjust this to your liking or just let it be what it was. Now there's also an invert button here and depending on uh, the face mosaic you've used, then this can be inverted. If I click on it, it can be inverted, but for this one, it does not come out the way it should be in other, like for example, I believe it's the, 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 the horizontal blur, then you'll have uh, the blurring occurring here and the faces remaining uh, are visible in that uh, matter. If you'd like to reset, you can always click on the reset button right here. And then everything is actually going to be reset. That is for the different things that you've set here, uh, right here. If you don't like it, you can just delete it and it's gone. So let's assume we want uh, to use, let's say this one horizontal blur, just drag and drop it. And this is the other method. And what you'll see is that if I click on effects here, it's already been added because we added it once, then it's going to be recognized that it's there. So just adjust the strengths to whatever you want, the feather, so that you can make your adjustments the way you want them to be. So two ways from the home page, you can use the AI face mosaic icon and just go directly or come to the effects face mosaic and then add your face mosaic here to blur the faces. And that is how you can easily blur multiple faces in a video in Filmora 14 using the AI face mosaic feature. Uh, super, super easy. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.